Sachs. And the Goldman Sachs reported, uh, and initially the stock I saw was at 220 up six, and then it went to 218. Now it's 224. It's up almost ten dollars uh, right now. So just add that into the Dow, and that's why the Dow has moved from maybe 350 or so out up four six. Just adding in the the, the uh, uh, contribution uh, by Goldman Sachs. But in, in the old days, you'd see Goldman, a lot of times if we see $6.26 a share versus a consensus of three seventy eight, we immediately start looking for extraordinary items or gains. But in the old days, Goldman used to, you, you couldn't do that because they're trading revenue and, and the way that they, they operate, they can, they can generate outsized beats. And I, I don't see anything necessarily in here that, that, isn't, uh, uh, that doesn't, shouldn't be counted as this quarter's earnings. Uh, and as a result, big gain uh, we're seeing in the stock, much better than expected results. Revenue, $13.3 billion. The analysts were looking for $9.8 billion. Uh, billion. Uh, we're expecting to talk to a Goldman uh, shareholder uh, when Squawk Box comes right back. But uh, we're almost up 500 points. Oh, Becky, you have something on Goldman? Up, uh, hey, hey, hey. Yeah, well, I mean, just this is what we saw with J.P. Morgan yesterday, right? It was the equities business and the investment banking business that did so well and offset some of the issues over at the retail bank. Uh, Goldman, obviously, a big player in those. They had their equities revenue, $2.94 billion. Global market revenue, $7.18 billion. Investment bank revenue, $2.66 billion. And their fixed income revenue, $4.24 billion. These were huge markets, very important. We saw it yesterday with J.P. Morgan. You're seeing it here. The other thing that might be important is Goldman Sachs is saying that for 2020, they do expect U.S. GDP to be down 4.6 percent. But for 2021, they're saying U.S. GDP could be up 5.8 percent. That's their guess at this point. And, and that's pretty important considering the outlook, too. We could talk more about this. But um, again, this is something that was hinted to yesterday with J.P. Morgan.